Hi everybody and welcome to Everyday Manna. Today we are going to make a beef stir fried rice. A great way to stretch a little bit of meat into a full complete meal. To go alongside that we're going to make a smashed cucumber salad and some Chinese donuts. Couldn't be simpler or better. We're actually going to get started on the salad first because Cucumbers contain a lot of water. And there's a great way to kind of get rid of some of the water so that as your cucumbers marinate in the dressing, they don't dilute it. So we're gonna salt the cucumbers first. But I wanna show you a good way to, let me just get this one cut too. I'm just gonna take the ends off of these cucumbers. I'm using the English cucumbers that still have the seeds on them, I mean the skin on them, because the others you have to peel. The ones, the normal cucumbers that you get in the grocery store that are coated with a wax coating, I don't like to eat that. So I like to buy the English cucumbers. They don't have as many seeds and you can eat the, um, the skin too. So we're gonna smash these. Now you could slice them if you don't wanna do this, but the reason I wanna smash them is it kind of breaks up the structure of the cucumber and allows the dressing to kind of penetrate. So what I'm gonna do is actually just, I'm gonna cut this in, in half and then I'm gonna take a meat mallet and I literally am going to just, you could use one of these or you could use, you know, I, I may just use this one, we'll see. And you're literally just going to beat that cucumber into pieces and then you're gonna just kind of, it's a little messy, but that's okay. And then you're gonna break up the pieces of the cucumber into, you know, bite-sized pieces, about like that. You see the craggly edges here, the, uh, the, just the craggly little edge on the cucumber. That's what you wanna get. It's a little bit of a messy job, but that's okay. You could do it in a uh, baggie if you wanted to cut down a little bit on the mess, that'd be fine too. It also helps to get rid of some of these seeds and you don't want to keep the seeds. So we're going to just do that and we're going to continue to do. It's messy. Great job for your kids. And the, the goal is to have them uneven. And what we're going to do is slice them. Get rid of the seeds and any of the water. Cucumbers contain a lot of water. And you could even, if you wanted to, cut them in half and then smash them. Either way, whatever you want to do, just get them smashed. This is a great thing to do, salting your cucumbers is a great thing to do even if you're not making this salad, but you're putting cucumbers in any salad, I would salt them ahead and it doesn't make them salty. It just draws out the moisture so that your dressings don't get diluted and you're left with just the, the meat of the cucumber, which is good and just rip it. Doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you don't want it to be really. And what you wanna do is add some salt, some kosher salt. That's what I'm using. Add some kosher salt and then toss your cucumbers in that over a colander. See, I've got, or in a colander over a bowl. I'm just gonna, I don't know, just a couple of good pinches. Toss your cucumbers around and let them set for about 15 or 20 minutes. And I'll show you what happens at the end of that. So just set that to the side. A little messy, but who cares? You know, cooking is, it is messy. It, it just is. Clean up as you go, and you're good to go. Now, we are going to make a beef stir fry, or beef fried rice, rather, that's, that's you know, got beef in it. It's a great way to extend a little bit of meat to feed a whole lot of people. 
Now I have here two sirloin steaks, um, you know, a, a, an inexpensive cut of beef, but you could use, you could actually even just use ground beef if you wanted to in this. These are a little bit thick, so I'm going to cut them in half. If yours aren't as thick, you won't need to do this. Now, you could cut them into small cubes. You could cut them into uh, slices, but you want small pieces. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is if I can find my little thing. Where's my little, well, I don't know where it's at. So let me just place this underneath. I need something under my board to stop it from moving. I like those little uh, uh, things that you use to open jars. They work great. Or a damp paper towel works great. You see how that just sort of stabilized it? Cut your steak into pieces. And then I'm going to just cut those pieces into smaller pieces, into little bits, because we're making a fried rice. So you want the pieces of the beef to be, you know, little little cubes, something like that is fine. If you want to use ground beef, you can use ground beef. If you want to use chicken, you could use chicken. You could use pork, uh, some lean cut pork chops, just dice them up, really any kind of protein that you want. Or leave the meat out and, and make it, you know, meatless, just make fried rice. You can do that. This is also a great use for any leftovers that you might have. Maybe you've got some leftover steak or you've got some leftover roast chicken or something, a pork chop leftover, and you're like, I don't know what I want to do with that. It's a great way to stretch the, the proteins because you're going to fill it with some rice and some spinach. And you could really use a lot of different things, anything you wanted. I like chopped up um, water chestnuts in my stir fried rice too. Now you see how I have taken two little small steaks and I have turned it into a really a bowl of beef that will feed more people. So this is a great use for to stretch your meat because in your budget of your food budget, meat is definitely the higher priced uh, part of your budget. Now, I want to add some soy sauce to this, just about a teaspoon or so, and I'm just going to take my hands and I'm going to salt, or not salt that, but just kind of stir that around while we prep the rest of our ingredients, and the soy sauce will kind of marinate in the beef and just add some flavor. I'm going to take a quick break, put this in the sink, wash my hands, and when I come back we'll get all of our, the rest of our ingredients prepped and we will start the stir fry. I'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty, now we're going to prep the rest of our ingredients before we start cooking because it really doesn't take that long. Anytime you're doing a stir fry, typically you need to always have your ingredients prepped before you start cooking. So I have here just some fresh spinach and I'm going to chop it a little bit because it's a, a, you know, big pieces, although spinach wilts down to nothing as we know. You could use frozen spinach in this if you wanted to. Just make sure it's thawed. Um, you could also use any vegetable that you want. If you want to add some shredded carrots, if you don't like spinach, leave it out. Um, add 
you know, anything you want. You could do the little baby corn, you could do celery, you could do water chestnuts, bok choy, anything you want. It's your stir fry, you can make it your own. This is just a great way to get some greens, some vitamins, some minerals. Spinach is very good for you. And honestly, if you've never had spinach other than canned, you need to try the fresh. It, I don't like canned spinach, and if that was how it tasted, I'd never eat it again. But that's not how it tastes. It tastes good when you cook it properly. I like to chop it kind of fine. And I know that looks like a lot, but it will wilt down to nothing. I'm also going to go ahead and chop up some scallions, just some green onions. I want the green and the white part. Just cut the ends off here. Just two or three. If you don't have any of these and you have a small onion, you could use that. You just want to get that minced up. Add some flavor and some color, and it'll be delicious. All right. Kind of keep that a little separate. Okay, now I think we're ready to start cooking. We have here, I have here a large skillet. This is just a nonstick skillet. I don't have a wok here, and I don't honestly think you need a wok for stir fries. I, I like to do it in just a, a regular skillet. I'm going to add just some neutral oil. This is hot. That looks like a lot, but it's really not. Maybe a, maybe a teaspoon, two teaspoons. And I'm going to add the beef a little bit at a time. Let me get some tongs here. This will splatter, so be careful. Okay. We want to add this. Because I don't have a whole, whole lot of beef, I can add it all at one time and spread it out. It'll be fine. Okay, just put it all out there and let it go for a minute. This is going to cook very quickly. I'm actually going to turn it up, I believe. Let that go. Let me put this in the sink. I have here some rice that I've cooked. Now, you could absolutely use leftover rice, and it's really actually even better, the uh, leftover cold rice, but I, I just made some. And I'm letting it cool in this bowl. This is just uh, white rice. You could use brown rice. You could use jasmine, basmati, basma. Actually, I think this is jasmine. Whatever kind of rice you like. Nothing added to it. Just plain rice. Okay. That can just set to the side. I have here one egg that I'm going to. That was luck. Scramble in that in a minute, but I want to go ahead and get that beaten so that I can get it in there real quick. Let that go. You see how that's just letting, getting that moisture out of there. Don't mess with that right now. Let it, let it do its thing so that it can uh, form, you know, that good golden crust that we want on the bottom. So let that go. Let's check on our cucumbers. It's been just a few minutes, and look how much liquid has already drained out of there. Now, that would be in our salad. It always amazes me at how much liquid, in just literally five minutes, how much has drained out of that. So let that just continue draining. Let's check our beef here. We'll leave it alone. Let it just cook through. I am going to add a little bit of pepper to this. I'm not going to add any salt because we are adding soy sauce. And soy sauce tends to be salty. So I don't think you need any extra salt in this dish. We just really want to cook that beef through. And then we're going to add some delicious flavors. I have here some extra soy sauce. and. Probably one of my favorite ingredients to use with any kind of Asian cooking or it's so good in so many things. And this is the toasted sesame seed oil. You need to make sure that you get the toasted, 
the dark. You see how this is very, very dark? Some sesame oil is light colored like canola or vegetable oil. That is not what you want. That has no flavor. The toasted sesame oil is just, it, it adds, there's, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. It just is so delicious and so flavorful. And you don't, this is not a cooking oil. This is a flavoring oil that we're going to add to our sauce. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and add probably about a teaspoon, maybe not quite that much, to my soy sauce. If you like a little heat, if you watch this program at all, you know I do. You can add some red pepper flakes, which I thought I had over here. Where'd they go? Here they are. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I do want to. Um, you could also add some gochujang if you've got that in your refrigerator or uh, gochugaru, which is the uh, Korean red pepper flakes. Those are delicious in this, but just regular red pepper flakes is good too. Just stir that together and that's going to be our sauce. Okay, this just literally takes a minute. It's almost done. All of that moisture is cooking off of there. Now, you could, if you wanted to, take this out and uh, into a separate bowl, or you can leave it in. That's done. I think I will just do put it in a separate bowl. It goes very, very quickly. Just get that out of there. Leave some of the fat in there if you can. That's fine. We don't need to add any more. Now we're going to add our egg. Well, no, let's do our spinach first. We're going to add our spinach and wilt our spinach down. It just takes a minute. You will be amazed at how quickly this goes. I mean, this is the, you know, this is a definitely a meal that you could make any day of the week, even on your busiest day. This could be ready in under 15 minutes if you've got your ingredients prepped. We're just wilting that spinach. If you want to add a little bit more oil, you can. It really doesn't take that long. Going to add our green pepper, I mean our green onion. Okay, now we've added our uh, egg and our meat. Now we're just going to add in our rice. This is a great use for leftover rice if you have it. Put that down. Mix it all together with your sauce that we made with sesame oil, soy sauce, and a little bit of red, crushed red pepper flakes. Mix that together and you're done. Uh, seriously, that is how easy stir fry rice is. It is not difficult to make at all. It is a great way to stretch your budget in that it's, you know, you can use leftover protein of any kind. And rice is inexpensive. It's delicious. You've got some spinach in there if you wanted to add some carrots or red peppers or water chestnuts, or the little baby corns that you can buy, bean sprouts. I mean, you can add anything you want to this. This is just what I choose to add. And that's it. I always like to add a little bit of extra sesame oil on top of mine because I really love this stuff. I mean, really love that stuff. It is so good. If you think you need to add a little more soy, you can. Always taste your food before you serve. 
but that's so fast. I mean, you really can have that done in no time. Let me get a fork. Let me try a bite, see if we need to add anything to it. Mmm. That is delicious. Maybe just a touch more soy. Oh, so good. And that's done. Take that off the heat. You've got dinner cooked. Now, I have here, let me turn that off. Let me move this pot over. I have some oil that I am, let me get that going. We're going to make some donuts. Let me get this off my stove top there. Are we good? Can we see here? I made a mess. What's new, right? I'm always making a mess. I'm a messy cook. You've heard me say it a thousand times. I'll say it a thousand times more. I'm a messy cook. But that's okay. It cleans up. You know, messes are something that you can clean. Better to make the mess and have the food. Okay, now we are going to make a very easy, quick Chinese donut. You will need, now this is complicated, so pay attention. <laughs> I'm just teasing. You need a can of biscuits and some sugar and some oil. Now I have my oil heating. I've got about an inch depth of oil. I have a little instant read thermometer. Let me get it off of Celsius. And I want to test the temperature of my oil. You want it to be about 350 degrees. We got a little bit of ways to go. Not, not too, too much. But while we're doing this, that'll be fine. You want to have some kind of a, a tool that you can get things in and out that will let the excess water or the excess oil drain. Take your can of biscuits. Pop them open. I do like the southern style. Don't use the flaky kind. That's not what you want. You want the buttermilk, southern, something like that. You're going to cut it into force if you're using the big biscuits. If you've got the small ones, you know, probably in half would be good. But these are the bigger ones. Or if you wanted to make them bigger, I just don't like them all big. I like little bite sizes. Cut them into fours. Take one fourth of that, lightly roll it into a ball. Now don't squish it, just lightly in your hands Roll it into a ball. Get them ready to go. Because when that oil gets hot enough, we're going to drop them in there and let them fry for just a minute. They'll get golden and brown. And then immediately we're going to drop them into our sugar. Good way to test. If you don't have a thermometer, a good way to test your oil is just pinch off a piece of your donut or your biscuit and drop it in there. And I can tell you it's about ready. Can you see down in there how that's, you see how it's bubbling up? That's what you want. So we'll go ahead and drop three or four in there. Don't overcrowd it. If you do, they'll stick together and they won't fry properly. Okay. Let's do one more. While those are cooking, let me show you the cucumbers. Remember, we put this in the drainer. Now, if you could let this set for about an hour, you'd be surprised. I don't have that much time. But look at all that water that came out of there. Now, that would be in our dressing if we did not drain that off. So, let's make our dressing for our cucumbers. Let me pour this out. And I'll just put the cucumbers in there. Let's check our donuts. See if they need to be turned over. Because they might. Probably so. Yeah, you see how they just puff up? 
and get all golden and delicious. Can you see that? Turn them over. Let them go for just a second. Let's make our dressing. I have here some sugar, some seasoned rice wine vinegar, a little bit of red pepper flake, a little bit of soy sauce, and some toasted sesame oil. This is, oh, I, you need to try that. It's so good. Let's stir all that together. The longer this salad sits, the better it tastes. I'm just telling you. And that's all there is to the smashed cucumber salad. It's light, it's refreshing, and it goes deliciously with our stir fry and donuts. But it also, you know, it is, is great alongside any kind of a grilled meat of any kind. Oh, yum. Don't that look delicious? And who would think that you could just through a biscuit could make something that delicious. Okay, let's get our sugar ready because these, a couple of these are about ready. And then immediately upon taking them out of there, you're gonna drain them a little bit and put them in some sugar. I'm gonna serve up our rice. Oh my goodness, so good, so delicious. Get this going. Put some of our cucumber beside it. Let me get a, a little spoon here. So good. That just goes right alongside that. And now, let me show you how you finish these up. Oh, look at that. Just drain it. Put it straight into that sugar and let that sugar coat those donuts. Wonderful, delicious, and easy. And your kids will love this. Just take your donuts and put them down in that sugar and you've got a quick and easy dessert that you could make any day of the week. Serve those up alongside your wonderful little meal and there you go. You've got a quick and easy, delicious, economical meal that you could make any day of the week. Try these recipes. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time on Everyday Nana.